Hey guys, welcome to a video. And then I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the motor from a Trackmaster 2 Thomas train. And if you don't know what that does, that just makes them free roll because they do this, their wheels are locked, and if you don't like that, well then I'll show you how to remove it. So you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver, a triangle screwdriver, and if you don't have those, you can either use a Phillips screwdriver except you have to apply pressure while you're unscrewing the three security screws. Or some scissors, which is pretty easy, as long as you have big scissors. Or you could use a flathead screwdriver. I think you should probably use the triangle screwdriver, since that's what it's for. But let's go ahead and get started with the video. So I'm going to be using Percy, and I already got rid of this first screw. So, we don't really need the engine to do any of this, but we do need this part. So, what you're trying to do is to unscrew these three screws right here. You can't really see them on the camera, but this one, this one, and this one. And you want to unscrew them. So, I'm going to be using some scissors, and I'm going to go ahead and unscrew them. Now that I've unscrewed and taken the engine apart, you're, you can keep the switch... And if this part falls out, then just put it back in. So all you need to do is remove the motor, put this back on, and then what you're going to do next is you're going to screw your engine in. Now that your engine has been completely screwed in, the motor has been removed, the engine can freely roll without making that annoying sound.